DK oh. maybe maybe okay. Well, Ricky speaking of the Ricky, though, if they had a kill rune on the Queen of Pain, and she got the four minute bounty rune on top, the kill rune going in the way of Murana. Ooh, yeah, with, the with the smoke screen. This could be the first blood right now. He wants to go for the kick, but it won't happen. Limp, an easy movement up, and he actually had the first blood rune, the double damage onto that Murana. Oh, some time to come. They oh. have to hoof it to the bottom. Oh, the Bat Riders are already here under the cover of smoke. The Ice Blast is going to fly out, but Asindra is in trouble. Chessy attacking the arrow from Murana, able to connect. As now Chessy low on life. Ira jumps forward, but again, the saving grace from the Oracle is able to arrive. Chessy gets the big burst heal as this fight just splits up a little bit. They're still sticky napalming up. Keizu jumps in, gets the lasso over on Limp. Here on the back lines, roared up. Keizu dropping down very low. He will go down, but the trade off is also going to be with Era. Yabsaw's on the run, but it's complexity. They are the ones finding the kills. The Sonic Wave bursting through from Koifa, but nothing will stop Chessy from claiming his double kill. You can turn on the Magnetize, but they'll all survive. And Escape have finally given complexity what they were looking for. A great team fight. One by one, they marched to their death. Complexity That's just good. smoked on top of an Ob's ward. They, they should they should have known as well. In fact, yeah, Cinder and he he was walking around there with a sentry ward already on him before they did the smoke. Now he throws it down, realize both the Ob's and Sentry is there. But it's Complexity who are not here to defend Roshan. Escape, they're looking to bring him down, and at this point they might be able to succeed. The scans used by the Radiant side, it should now start to ping and flag red as complexity. Here they come, Roshan low. He's at 1k life. They've almost finished the job. Here comes Complexity. The arrow will fly forward and hits Koifa. He does have the Aegis model, however. Era trying to keep Swindles out. They use both the Adaptive Strike as well as the Stunder Hold. And Koifa lets the ulti blow. He triggers the Aegis to the Immortal. The Necros are around him. Chessy will get in and then the Blink. They get back up, but is it far enough? No, not with Keizu being roared. They get the Adaptive Strike, so you will lose the Slark. And it's allowing Ira to block the path with the Morphling. But Hansken giving them a license to just keep on fighting. Ira on the run. Another kick, catching out too. Ira needs more time. The Linkus is finally back off cooldown. He'll waveform up. Can he survive? He holds in the tree lines. There's not enough mana for him to TP out. They don't realize he's in the trees. He'll start the TP. Swindles now. The axes will fly, but it's all a little too late. The extra TP out as well. Coming from Koifa, they will get out of the pit. Waiting for another several reward coming from Ooh, the chicken. Keizu, they're prepping. There's your leap. And, well, Keizu can't survive. All. No, yeah, he, he can't survive. The kick from Yabsol wasn't going to control up enough. And then, well, Z Freak, he's coming back in. Did you actually think that was a real Cinder? Either way, it was a replicate. And they're going to boulder four staff out. Chessy's still on the hunt under the cover of the Moonlight Shadow. Cinder, he's a little bit out of position here. Swindle's going to start with a raw Necrobox, and Cinder, he will evaporate his ice. All right, so Complexity, Ice Blast, really good timing from Cinder, going to scout this out. Also going to connect on three heroes of Complexity. It's not going to stop them from taking Roshan, however. It'll just make them a little bit more cautious. Ira's having his fun up on the top lane, continuously pushing that one out. He does have a replicate, and in fact, Escape, they're in a position where they can try and contest this. And there's already the jump from Chessy, going on Koifa. He'll blink away. Keizu, now with the last two, they're bringing Chessy in deeper. They do have the vision with the Sentry Ward going down, as well as the gem. They can see Chessy until he goes to Shadow. It's the Sonic Wave! It hits huge! It hits three! They turn the Magnetize as well, but Cinderin! Well, he's old reliable. Down again, three for one is the trade-off. The ball up from Yapsaw, but he's playing catch with his dad. He hits the arrow limp perfectly on Yapsaw. Say goodbye to him. It was a nice play from uh, Koifa, but better from Hansken, who has just been every time there for his team. An escape really have nothing Ugh. left at this point. Kokla will take a spill, and that's one buyback coming out for them. This Ice Blast has to be huge. It's going to hit over on three heroes as Swindles. Very deep underneath the Tier 4 Towers. Once TP out, won't be able to happen. And now they blink forward, finding Chessy Complexity. There's some freebies coming the way right now of Escape. They still took the mid racks. Coin for Cops narrow to the face. Z Freak jumps in. Smoke screen up, and now they both get kicked. Sentry wards are down, so they can see Z Freak. He has to go into his ultimate, try and protect himself for the moment as this fight splits into multiple parts. Z Freak has to go south where Yapsol's hunting him, but it's Chessy who's dropping down low. The Orchid will help pop him. The gem recovered from Escape and Complexity. They have 
just given a lifeline here to escape. A get out of jail free card. Keizu was the closest one. Moonlight Shadow's going to trigger as well, because Keizu doesn't care about that. He's got the gem, but they jump forward. They find Koi for the Ice Blast. Connects over on three. They need a little bit more damage here. Oh, the lasso! Keizu, we got a neutral! Era! Oh boy! He'll go down as well. They can't get the Morphling out. The roar's on Keizu. Say exactly where you are and think about what you did. Complexity. They take three. The support's the only ones left alive. I think Yapsaw's going to try and make a little bit more space. He's going to go on a play here on Swindles on the mid lane, turning on the silence. He needs to find this kill to try and slow down anything. Is Swindles actually going to go down to magnetize? Ticking, ticking, and boom. He'll drop down. Yapsaw gets some level of freedom. The Necro Books may claim his life in return, especially when he kills it. He'll take the money, but he'll die for the cause. It may have been just long enough for Complexity not to take a full GG here. And GG. GG. Escape will call it. They say there is no more joy to be had here. Complexity, they definitely didn't do it smoothly though. Complexity had uh, like that one push that went down the mid. It's got a, like, a couple of question marks. So like you needed to do mm, like so irreparable. Uh, uh, Sindarin, you're really, really low. Um, he actually doesn't have Shallow Grave. Uh, he's okay now. He actually levels up the heal with that damage. Hansk is going to drop down. Z Freak was looking for the first blood. Now he'll find Cinderin, but it was all a little too late. He'll get one more attack in. It's still not enough. The Storm Bolt from Chessie will find the kill. The Z Freak. He needs three seconds for Rolling Boulder. Ear into the tree lines. The double kick. That'll buy him the seconds to roll out the arrow. They're able to scout out the movement of the Mirana. So there's no surprise arrows. There's no surprise movement. In fact, Z Freak already pushes Japsaw out. The kick will fly forward. And Sindarin, he may have to self grave himself to try and buy a little bit of time as Chessy War Cries runs out. Z Freak, he's waiting, waiting. Okay, the Shropter will find that kill. Chessy turns for the stun. Era in a little bit of trouble. He's dropped down too low. The healing ward is down. Complexity can't reach it yet. Now they will be able to. And Era, he'll pop and give a double kill to Hansken. Well, Chessy. He's going to go strength it. Now they know this is going on, and that means Keizu, under the cover of smoke, they move forward. Ira's only got a one level Omni Slash, so it's not going to be really that effective, especially when there's a Centaur also hovering around, but the Radiance is up. 17 minutes in, the Radiance Bear moves forward, gets an entangle over on Z-Freak. He has to boulder himself away to safety. The glints back Koifa into the storm. Maybe they can find the kill. Limp jumps back in, but the big stun arriving in from the Nyx Assassin. Have they got enough? They get through to the Shallow Grave, kept Koifa alive, and now Swindles isolated as well. Complexity will lose four. All they wanted was an ancient stack, and now they're going to get completely team wiped off the face of the earth. Z-Freak is gone. Koifa will finish up the stack. They, that was just a lot better execution as well from Escape. Now, we can actually go back live as Roshan being contested up by Complexity. Savage Raw going to send the Timbersaur away. Swindles just blinks himself in. Probably expecting Roshan to be a lot lower than he really is. Spy Carapace will stun him up. They know he's on the hill. And maybe with the Starfall, yep. The last star will fall on his head. Chessy comes in looking for the con contest on Roshan. Keizu, the arrow, it's going to miss. He hits with a Vendetta, the Spike Carapace stopping limp in his tracks. And now with the bear on the front lines, they're going to catch out more of complexity. They boulder away. Roshan still needs to be completed. Koifa will resummon his bear now while Yapsaw hunts the kill over towards Z Freak. Such a simple one, too, but with no Sven, like. Like, Sven does not want to expand his buyback at this point. Uh, Yapsor has Ags. Already? Uh, Nyx is as in his 250 gold away from Ags. This is bad. Here's the jump. Omni side swindles. He took every single one. Now the spin as well from Ira. He'll pick up Hanskin. The buyback comes out from Chessie, but you've already lost two. Ira in deep. Does not have the Aegis Immortal, but he's got the Shallow Grave. The saving grace from Cinderin. Where's that Shadow Wave? There it is. The heal is there. You'll still bring down Ira. But you've lost two, you bought back one. The Lone Draw Bear still on the front lines, but Sindarin, he'll go down with the team, but you've got the melee racks. Tower already at 25%, though. They're going to have to do something soon. As the arrow hits on Limp, he's trying to chain himself away. The Omni Slash, Limp with the Starfall as well. They have the damage from the Mirana, moving up into Hanskin. The extra stun's there, and Swindles, the Lasso. They control up Yapsaw for now, but it won't stop the Mirana Agonims from still getting the kill. He's Lasso, but he still finds the damage. Swindles on the sideline, helping Chetty to find that kill. But Yapsaw inside the storm. Now the Urn taking him down. Now the Yules. They want to fight this? Yep. Era jumps in the back lines. He's going to catch out Z Freak with that spin.
find the kill back up in the lane, and the bear gets the entangle over on Chessy. Era can just start attacking in, look for the crits, look for the damage. They just want one other entangle, and Chessy will die here. He can't find it straight away. In fact, Limp will just rip apart the bear, and Era blinks forward, gets the first crit, then the follow up damage. Swindles can't escape. A triple kill for him, plus the entangle. Give that man an ultra, and that's exactly what they'll do. Complexly losing too many. It may even be a rampage. Era's going ham. Remember, he's still immortal. He's still got that Aegis up. And with the help of Keizu, where's the stun? The Spine Carapace to get the mana burn. Is there a range for the stun? Fair, and that is the GG well played. I thought that Complexly had a better plan to manage the lone druid first. They haven't turned to that in a very long time. Okay, it's a Weaver. Uh, top lane, uh, initiation over on Keizu. Z3 bolted himself forward, got the stun off, and now Keizu, the arrow is going to fly in, but complexity already split. Well, they're having a crack at Era on bottom lane. It's a little bit of a chip, but Era gets back. It's the top lane where things are brewing. The roar out from Keizu, looking towards Swindles. Yapsaw wants to rotate over. Z Freak is just trying to body block it so the arrow can't connect. Unfortunately for Z Freak, He's already lost his teammate because Koifer rotated over. Yapsaw is on the run. Zeefrik has perfect vision. So Yapsaw, all he really wants is Starfall. Bait him with the arrow. He can't leap forward. Now the arrow will fly in Zeefrik. He was running the tree line. There was nowhere to go. The Starfall will find the kill. That's Yapsaw's second kill of the game so far. That was a sick play by Yapsaw. Zeefrik to attempt to dodge the arrow that wasn't even there and then hits him where he can't dodge. Oh, Era, they're jumping in on him. He's still got Shadow Dance available. Cinder is just bailing out, but the Flame Break will cancel his TP. He doesn't have mana to do anything else apart from run and die. Era will also die underneath the Tier 1. Unable to TP out in time. Give him more credit than that, Toby. <laughs> Swindles is a great player. <laughs> All right, Keizu backing up the Necro books. They're going to boulder forward. As uh, Yamsa in the neighborhood, Omni Sire shared out, and Cinder again tank through most of it. And, uh, well, He's actually waddling himself out of here with a roar on Zeefreak. Zeefreak's in trouble. He's going to drop on down. Oh, Willie, the Shallow Grave is there. It buys him the time. And it's actually two heroes lost from escape. Hold that area. And I think with that, they lose oh. so much ground. Hans going to have to Shallow Grave. Era's got no stun available. Going to shift a little bit of essence, but that's all. Now it's a 22 minute, as uh, Nox has now given us. So it was a 22 minute Aghanim Scepter in game number two. Okay, so. And that was with the advantages you're talking about. So he's, he's Four in, minutes earlier in this game. Yep, with less to work with. Chessy, whoa, hello. Jumping in through the rear. Cinder actually started with the Ignite instead of going for the stun. He needed a pop to Lincoln's. Yep. Or wanted to. Well, uh, now the Lincoln's going to get triggered. And the stun with the Sonic Wave finds the kill. Swindles jumps in, but it's already a little bit too late with this lasso. He controls Coin for a little bit longer. Cinderin, he's negative 14, negative 16 on the armor. Thanks to the Scarab Beetles going to work. Yeah. And on bottom lane, Z Freak was actually looking for Yapso, but Yapso already with Blink Dagger, throws the arrow over, it connects, in comes Keizu with the Sonic Wave, hitting on three, Hans is already down, Lim's getting bashed up by Roshan, even the Elm is turning against him, the Omni Sash going to work, Koifa, it's not enough, he bounced too many times into the Necro books, so they don't find that kill, Chessie will burn out, the Ogre's Ignite finds that kill, and Z Freak, well, it's a high perch, a wonderful place to plant a tombstone. Yeah. Almost walking into it was Yapsaw, but now they're just caught in no man's land. They want to go back up and they're going to find Era. Remember, as you said, he's got the gem and completely surrounded. As you mentioned, though, they I think they should have played oh, no coming risk in again. at that point, though. The Orchid over on Chessy. Support's going to arrive in case who gets the roar off and the damage of Koifa so high already. Z Freak gets hit so hard by the arrow. Yapsaw wants to go in for a little bit more damage. The Shallow Grave will protect. Important. But look at, look at Escape. They do the wraparound. Under the cover of Moonlight, Shadow, the secret wrap around. But you got the Sentry Wars down, so they still have some good vision. Era getting caught. Do they have enough damage to find him? No, they don't. He gets to the Shadow Dance. Even with a Sonic Wave, the damage is out. KZ will help. Three heroes gone for complexity. Swindle doesn't know where to go. Coif is pumping out too much physical damage. And now even Chessy locked. He's leashed. They're going to see him. Coif has no more extra disables to give to his team. Z Freak tried to help out his teammate, but Chessy on the run. The pounce ball. There's your scream. There's your triple kill for Coif. Four heroes lost. Going into the pit, won't get scattered out by the four. He it's has already to. a half HP medallion on. Bullseye. They're they're okay with this though. Like you've still got Koi for a little bit too far away. The Moonlight Shadow is gonna go. Swindles up on the hillside. They trigger the dust. So they already get the reveal over on Yapsaw. So Limp gets the Aegis Immortal. 
Swindle still waiting. His blink deck is on cooldown. Now the roar. They catch Z Freak in the bottom part of the river. He needs a way out, but he's got no mana. Even with the one charges, this is still not enough. The arrows fly through. Will miss their target. They've locked in Era, but again Era able to get to the Shadow Dance. Swindle just gone. The Sonic Wave does huge damage. Limp. That cheese will not be enough to save him from this one. He's gone for the count. Chessie's on the run. Aegis the Immortal only means he can die twice. The TP went out from the Dazzle. He's abandoned his teammate. Chessie's on the run. Orchid, perfect stun control. Triple kill for Quopfa. He was a non-factor. It looked like he was going to be able to do okay amounts of damage, and then he popped Cheese right. to do. When you're in the lead, when you are fight, when you have five heroes, to blink Omni. and they have four, Z Freak get the vision. Fight. He needs the kick. They don't really have great vision. This is nighttime, however, so they just dropped the sentry. Chessie starts over, over on the towers. The bottom lane's pushed in, like, so it's, it's going to be a matter of time before those Megas hit, and Era comes in from behind. He focuses on Hansk, and he has to self-grade before this fight begins. You don't have Swindles. The Omni Slash soaked up by Necro Books as well. This is not going to be the dream fight. Not when Sonic Wave from Koifer hits so perfectly. This is over. It's done. It's cooked. Complexity will drop to the lower bracket, and Escape will advance themselves forward to face up in the winner's bracket final and potentially go straight in to the main event of TI. The dream of all the teams here in the wildcard. That was a really good gamble by Complexity. I think they were hoping that like Escape would fight like outside of their T4s, but they waited until they had everyone. They had the Shivas up on the Mirana to get vision of everyone.